Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me and Happy New Year to 2024. The Australian dollar succumbed to a weaker movement as the market views the US dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, rebounded towards the last days of trading in 2023 and now has put a mixed spin on the start of the new year. However, having reached the top side objective around 68 cents, I still feel there is further upside gains and could actually stretch towards 69 to 70 cents for this month. Looking ahead to this week, the main event looks to the US non-farm payrolls report, which holds to a forecast of 168,000 jobs added in December, marking a decline from November's 199,000, while the unemployment rate is expected to edge higher to 3.8%. Also this week, we've got China manufacturing PMI and also the Cajun Services PMI reports. So as I view the market, as I mentioned, the top side objectives are still around the highs of 68 to 70 cents for this month. Any pullback should find support around 67, 15, 30 area. Looking at Euro, the market objective was reached not 110, but 111 before pulling back. And there is a little bit of a weaker bias as the start of this month unfolds in January. And still, I feel the market will find opportunity to any pullbacks. And that is towards the region of around 109.2025 with the uptrend seen at 108.2045. With the dollar index reaching its objective around 100 figure 50 with the low being 62 before rebounding to 101.40, there is still much weakness likely to have unfold and therefore would see the euro push on towards 111 or even if we look at the weeklies to 112 and reassess. The dollar yen outlook still remains negative as the downtrend weighs heavily and looks towards the objective at 138 and a half. If any upside attempts should find the downtrend holding, which is around 142, 80, 85. Looking at sterling, the uptrend holds firmly and still looks towards that top side area, 127, and clearing that around 127, 70, 90, should head on towards 128 to 129. Gold, well, I feel there might be a little bit more bullishness coming into the start of this year due to the fact that there is very much high geopolitical risk uh, along with that with the slight dovish turn to the US interest rates. There is calls for a rate cut in March, so they could see a little bit more weaker dollar. Looking to the top side, we could see a rise up towards the region of 2090 with any pullback finding support around 2050. Wrapping up with oil. The market is finding a little bit more ground today and I feel there could be an extension on towards the top side around $75 to $75.50. In light of that, any pullback should be shallow and support is seen around 70 and a half. Well, that's a wrap to the start of this week. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, I'll have the intro report and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.